hey, it's Jasmine, Jasmine and Josh. Josh. Sorry we couldn't come to the phone right now. We're busy getting married. But please leave us a message after the tone. And, and we will we'll get, get right, right back, back to you. Hi, Josh and Jasmine. What a beautiful wedding. I wish you guys nothing but happiness, love, and bliss. This is Aunt Patty. I am just so thrilled to be here at your wedding. It was absolutely the most beautiful ceremony. Hi, Jazzy and Josh. So happy for you guys. They're gonna make beautiful babies. I know you want those, Josh. <laughs> Congratulations, Jasmine and Josh. I contacted the police. Bray dared me to do it. This is George's, and I get uh, an order of fried rice and maybe some sweet and sour chicken. Thank you. It's Carolyn and Paul. Just wanted to wish you a happy wedding day. Happy wedding day, Princess Jasmine. Josh, if you didn't get my first message, leave Jasmine. I'm in room 415 at the Holiday Inn. I have a key and Taco Bell. Call me. Leave her and come for me. Okay? Bye, boo. We decided to take the girls to Montreal. Jasmine asked me to hold on to her phone, so I did. But when I touched the screen, a photo popped up with a picture of Jasmine kissing a boy. She said she's known him for a few years that they met playing Xbox, damn Xbox. So we grounded her and told her never to talk to this guy again. But we all know how that turned out. It's, it's funny because a few months before, my wife and I were away on a cruise and my mother, Amy, was living with us at the time and called me and said that there was a boy hiding in Jasmine's room. I ignored her and said that she was seeing things and told Jasmine would never do such a thing. We found out a few years later that Amy was right and Jazz was hiding Josh under a blanket beside her bed. So after a month of fighting with my daughter to never speak to this guy again, my wife convinced me to finally invite him over to the house to meet, meet him and give him a chance. So we did. I'm super excited. I love her with all my heart. I have to confess, I was a little spectacle when my sister first introduced us to you. This random guy from New York who she met off a video game, it sounded like a Netflix documentary waiting to happen. But that was luckily dismissed after first meeting you. I saw the way you made her laugh, the way you brightened her day, and the way you were willing to put up with her endless shopping sprees. And I thought to myself, okay, this guy's pretty all right. But all jokes aside, I couldn't be happier for you, Jazzy J. You deserve all the joy and love and happiness in the world. And I know you found it with your partner. They say that the key to a successful marriage is communication, trust, and a healthy dose of laughter. And lucky for you, you've got talent for all three. Jasmine, I've waited so long for today to take my proud place as your husband. And may our days be long and may they be blessed with faith, love, understanding, and respect forever and ever. Today is the beginning of the rest of our lives and I choose to spend it today and all my tomorrows with you. And to love you, to be your best friend, to respect you, and to support you to be strong with you, to work together with you, to reach our goals, and to appreciate you unconditionally, and to share my life with you forever, Jasmine. I love you. Joshua, at 15 I had no idea that the cute boy from New York, who I would rush home from school to play video games with, would turn out to be my best friend, my soulmate, and my better half. Living so far from each other wasn't easy, but it has taught me both patience and understanding. It has made our love grow stronger and prove that no matter what, what life decides to throw at us, no matter the distance between us, we will always be there for each other and we will be able to conquer anything that stands in our way. You truly are my everything. You are everything I ever dreamt of in a husband. You are everything I ever wanted in a best friend. And you are everything I never knew I needed. I couldn't live without you and I love you more than anything. Joshua, I promise to you that I will always be by your side 
through life's ups and downs, I promise to always stay faithful to you. I promise to cherish and care for you. I promise to respect and honor you. I promise to always find anything you think is lost, but in reality, it's hidden under a blanket or misplaced. And I promise to love you unconditionally for the rest of our lives. I can't wait to start our new journey as newlyweds, and I'm so glad I get to start this journey with you. I also can't wait for all the future Taco Bell dates as husband and wife for the nights that were too tired to cook. Thank you for always being there for me and sticking by my side. Thank you for always making me smile and laugh even when I'm sad or angry. Thank you for sacrificing so much for me in our relationship. Thank you for being you. I love you. Remember today. I know the two of you will remember this day, this hour, in fact, this very moment in time where you're making this commitment to one another. Both of you have been there for each other, and I encourage you to continue to be there for each other as you move forward. I want to encourage you to remember this moment as the two of you rely on each other and to celebrate that today and often. Jasmine, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And my commitment. And my commitment. To our life together. To our life together. Joshua, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And my commitment. And my commitment. To our life together. To our life together. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that even when wrinkled in age, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you that same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Together as a team, everything you wish can be realized. Congratulations, you're a beautiful bride, you're a handsome groom, and I wish you all the best, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring in the bridesmaids. Let's give it up for Sarah, Mei Ling, a McKenna, and maid of honor, Olivia. Let's give it up for Wesley, Carl, Caleb, and best man, Noah. The newlyweds and the bride and groom, give it up for Jasmine and Joshua! As a kid, you go through many different friendships. I would say it is a huge milestone and privilege to know someone like Jasmine who has been by my side ever since those early years. A true best friend is someone who has been with you through your dark days and brighter days, including never forgetting about our little pet shop play dates where the floor would be covered. <laughs> we have shared many memories together growing up. Today is another great day to add to our collection of sweet memories. Together they make a wonderful pair and I know that they will make each other so happy in their new life together. You guys are truly meant for each other, and I look forward to the future you two have. Now let's toast to the bride and groom. Cheers. I don't have my glass, but if you have a glass, cheers. Jasmine, thank you for putting up with Josh, as he's one of the funniest and craziest men I've ever met. Josh is going to be such a great husband, as well as Jazz will be just as great of a wife to him. I can't wait to see how much you guys grow deeper in love and continue to help each other's goals. Before I end, I know Josh wants to get a Ford Mustang dark horse. Unfortunately, I couldn't make that dream come true today, but I did get you this miniature sized one to tie you over. Josh, you're an amazing guy. You have the biggest heart and would do anything for my daughter. I now consider you the son in her. I thought I'd never meet anyone else that could love and care for my daughter like we have until I met you. I'm so happy to know that you'll take care of her and love her like we have. I wish you both love and happiness and a long life together. Josh, I did not get to choose you. That honor, 
That, that honor was my daughter's, but if I could have picked her match, you would be the one. I never thought anyone would be good enough for my little girl until I met you. You're the love of her life and her greatest support and blessing from the stars. You're more than just a son-in-law. I now consider you my son. It makes me very fulfilled, you know, and to see that there's still true love out there within people and every single time I think of a long distance or anything like that, I'm always going to think back to you and especially with my girlfriend now, Vivian, it's always going to make me think that my relationship is still going to be as strong as yours.